Hi, I'm Dave Boyne, the Chief Instructor at uh, the Academy of Motorcycling in Stowmarket, Suffolk. We're here on our off-road site, which is only three minutes away from our office, practicing the Modular One test with the students. Your test actually starts as soon as you get on the bike and make sure you do good observations before you pull away. The first exercise is to park in one of the parking bays which are marked out by four green cones. And you then stop and place the bike on the stand. The student is now briefed up on taking the bike off the stand wheeling it backwards and placing it in the other parking bay again marked out by four green cones you've got to treat the whole of this maneuver test as if you're on a public road so observations are essential there's two ways of controlling the bike you can keep two hands on the handlebars or you can place one hand on the grab rail as the student is doing now place it within the cones making sure you don't kick any of them over because that would be a fail place the bike back on the stand and then the instructor or the examiner will brief you up on the next test. So the student is now briefed up and he has to do the slaloms. So from the parking bay he'll make his way to the yellow cones where he will do a slalom making sure he doesn't hit any of the cones and then go straight into the figure of eight and he'll complete two complete circuits of the figure of eight. If you do more, the examiner will stop you at that point. There is no limitation on how wide you go on this figure of eight as long as you don't hit any of the cones. And after two complete circuits, you'll be told to stop. The student is now briefed up on the avoidance uh, manoeuvre, where he will pull away, make his way to the curve, which is marked out by blue and red cones. You have to be doing round about 19, 20 miles an hour. You then accelerate, make your way through some orange cones, through the speed trap, and then do swerve through the blue cones stopping with your front wheel in the four blue cones ahead of you accelerate stopping with the front wheel in the blue cones. We'll now check with the speed gun to make sure that the speed is correct. 50 k's or 32 miles an hour being the minimum. If you don't get the right speed, you can then retry. You get two attempts on that maneuver. Following the avoidance maneuver, students will be told to move from where they stopped towards the white lines ready for the u-turn because we have a lot of white lines marked out on our off-road site we've put some white cones just to identify which lines are which again observation is essential to pass this test so let's have a good u-turn seven and a half meters the distance okay once the student has stopped we were then told to move forward towards the green cones where we'll start the next maneuver which is the slow speed again observation good observation is essential so you stop in between the green cones the examiner or instructor will place himself about a meter forward and then when the student moves off the examiner will walk forward at walking pace
and when you get to the green cones the exam will, will stop. The student is now going to be briefed up on the emergency stop. So he's going to pull away from where he is now, making his way around the circuit. Again, around about 19, 20 miles an hour. He will then accelerate, go through all the cones, through the speed trap, and the instructor or will examiner will place their board up, signifying the time to stop on the emergency stop. The instructor will check the speed on the speed gun, ensuring that again we've gone through the speed trap at at least 32 miles an hour, 50 k's. As I already mentioned, this is our off-road site, which gives unlimited access to students on their Modular 1 training. So unlike having to travel all the way down to the DSA site, everything can be done here, it saves a lot of time and a lot of money 